not deciding is a decision not to change. And many make that indecision even when things clearly aren't working. Why is that? You've been sold the idea that you can't release what's broken until you have its replacement. You can't dismantle a bad system until you create a great one. And you certainly can't let go of what's working even though it can be so much better. We stick with present payoffs and dysfunction because we can't exactly answer the question, what will fill the void? This is a trap that keeps you from changing. We stay with the current state of suckiness or success, the patterns you know, different versions of the same repetitive cycle. And when you're stuck in what's not working, it's like you're banging your head against a wall thinking, I can't stop this until I get a better idea. Often the best options and insights can only be revealed once the current path is abandoned. That takes courage and puts you in a vulnerable spot and then it may be obvious. Not that, certainly not that, but this. Congruent courage is often the price of clarity. Once you let go of what's not working, you create space to attract and see what's better, gain new info and insights, and revisit challenges with fresh eyes. A bad idea is a bad idea, whether you have its replacement or not. It's better to be truthful and uncertain than safely mediocre or miserable. You deserve growth joy, and peace, which comes from self-honesty. This week, stretch your ability to hang with not knowing, lead and live with uncertainty, and you may be surprised how quickly things change for the better. Until next week, stay off balance on purpose. <laughs>